And I don't want to go off in this first lecture on a long uh, uh, exegetical uh, set of remarks on this new phrase, which I'm afraid is going to be just a part of pop psychology, the politics of meaning. I don't have any idea what they're talking about, okay? I don't know. This isn't what I'm... What I'm talking about is something much more immediate. And it may, in fact, have political implications. By that, I mean it may mean that people can have refrigerators, nice cars, nice homes, nice children, and nice degrees, and, you know, nice friends, and have absolutely no sense of who the hell they are, and be in utter despair. In fact, uh, that condition on the account I'll be giving will be structurally common. This is not a, like a slam on any people who are personally here in the audience today or any people viewing me. It's not a personal remark. It's a structural condition. This, and so, therefore, the title, The Self Under Siege. And uh, whether philosophy is the right discipline to look at this problem or not is, is unimportant to me. Because uh, in, in, in looking at it myself, I've been uh, guided more by the problem than by, than by the discipline that I started out working in. I mean, when I look at a college curriculum and see how it's divided, and we've got curriculum committees that redivide them like once a week or once a month, and then once a year, they... I mean, I don't give a damn what studies this or who talks about it, but that it's part of the ongoing conversation of our species about itself you know, who we are seems to me to be very important, and if, even if it's taught in the, in the curriculum under the heading basket weaving. It's, a, it's an utterly, crucially important uh, topic in my view.